Hi there. Thanks for purchasing your A1C Now self-check test kit. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to perform your A1C test with your four count kit. When you open up your system, you're going to find a few items. First, locate and look over the one page instructions. These instructions are easy to read and provide a quick step-by-step -step overview on how to successfully perform the test. This is the A1C Now Analyzer. There will be one of these inside. You will use this analyzer for all four A1C tests. This is a shaker pouch with a one at the top, which inside contains a lancet, a blood collector, and a shaker body. And finally, the cartridge pouch labeled with a number two at the top. This contains the cartridge to perform the test. Now it's important not to open this pouch until you've been instructed to do so. You may also need a band-aid. Pause the video now if you need to get a band-aid before you get started. This box comes with four tests. It's important that you only use one shaker pouch and one cartridge pouch per test. Leave the remaining pouches in the box and store at 64 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Ready? I'm going to now walk you through each of these steps. When reading the instructions, it says very clearly, do not open the cartridge pouch, marked with a number two at the top, until you are ready to insert your finger stick blood sample into the test cartridge. Now go ahead and pause the video here and thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. Once your hands are clean and dry, come back and we can move on to the next step. It's important to note that the blood sample that you collect for this A1C test is a little more than what you typically collect to test your blood sugar. I recommend pricking the soft area on the side of your ring finger. Place the lancet device like this and push down, releasing the needle to prick your finger. Gently apply a steady pressure to your finger to obtain an adequate blood supply. The size of the blood drop should look like this. Next, Take the blood collector and gently touch the blood drop with the tip of the collector to fill. The blood will automatically be drawn into the collector. Be sure you fill it completely as shown here. Now I see that I have enough blood collected to perform my A1C test. Then you will fully insert the blood collector into the shaker body. Firmly push the collector into the body so there is no gap between the two pieces. Make sure you are pushing hard while twisting to fully insert the collector into the shaker. There should not be any gaps between them. Next, I'm going to shake it vigorously six to eight times for about five seconds. This motion will mix my blood with the test solution inside the shaker. Once you are done shaking, set the shaker down on a flat surface nearby. Go ahead and find the pouch with the number two, which has the test cartridge and open it. To make sure that the test cartridge matches the analyzer, I'm going to verify that the codes match. See how the analyzer says A9 and the test cartridge also says A9. That means the codes match and you can proceed with testing. Now you're going to insert the cartridge into the actual analyzer by making sure the cartridge is facing this way with the white circle facing upwards. Press and insert the test cartridge until you hear the click confirming it is in place then reset the analyzer back down on a flat surface. After I insert the test cartridge, the analyzer first displays weight on the screen, and after a few moments, SMPL appears. That means we are ready to apply the sample. Next, pick up the shaker, remember that thing with your blood in it, and remove the bottom base, not the part where you inserted your blood sample previously. Keep that part as it is. I know I might sound like a broken record, but make sure that your analyzer is lying flat on a level surface before this next step. Then dispense the sample from the shaker into the cartridge by pushing down completely into the white circle. Press down and remove quickly. Then you will see run appear on the screen almost immediately after dispensing. Once it says run, leave the analyzer alone on the flat surface and the five minute countdown will begin. After five minutes have gone by, the analyzer will flash a few things on the screen. QCOK, which is an internal check that the analyzer performed properly, your A1C result, like mine, shown here, and the 03TL, which shows the number of tests left. So if I ran one test from the kit, there are three tests remaining. As an FYI, 
If you are running your fourth test, the display will show 00TL. Make sure you write down your A1C result for your own records or so that you can share it with your healthcare provider if needed. Results will be displayed for 15 minutes. Or, if you would like, you can also take a picture of the A1C result on the analyzer with your mobile phone. Once you've recorded your A1C result, you can now move the test cartridge from the analyzer. This part is disposable. The analyzer is not. Do not throw away the analyzer until you have used up all the tests in the box, based upon when it's recommended that you need to perform your next A1C test. As a reminder, the test results will remain displayed for 15 minutes and will turn off automatically. And with that, you have successfully completed an A1C test using your A1C Now self-check system at home. Remember to keep the analyzer and the remaining pouches together in the box until your next test. When storing your test kit, be sure to keep it out of direct sunlight. Please visit ptsdiagnostics.com when it's time for you to run your next A1C test and I'll be here to walk you through the steps again. Bye for now, stay well and take care.